Hey, welcome back. Um, so I know I've been posting a lot of videos lately about creating instructional video, um, videos with dual cameras, and even a few videos lately where you can even use these strategies in live video calls. And that's what I wanted to explore today is the idea of creating instructional video using one of my favorite tools, which is the Osmo Projector app. So if you haven't used Osmo before or heard of this tool, um, I remember using it many years ago before it was even Osmo when it was tangible play. And I love that idea of kids actually manipulating things with their hands. So what Osmo is, is a stand that you can drop an iPad into, and then it has a little piece that you pop over the top of the iPad with a mirror in it. So the front facing camera on the iPad ends up shooting down at the desk in front of you. Now, if we take this idea of the Osmo projector, there's lots of outlets of how we can create. You might simply, for example, swipe down from the top right hand corner of your iPad and enable the screen recording feature. And that would allow you to make a recording of anything you're doing with your iPad using the Osmo projector app. You might do something like I'm doing right now where you could get into a Google Meet or a Zoom call, for example, and I'll demo this in a minute, how I'm going to have this iPad join the Zoom call so it's me and the iPad using the Osmo Projector app. So if I'm working with younger students or I'm a math teacher or I want to have a read along and I can drop my book in this space and then read along with it or I might have a manipulative that I want to demonstrate how to use and I can do that right in front of me here on my desk using the Projector app. Another option you might have is to get into a live call, a live Google Meet or a live Zoom call where on your primary device, your laptop or your desktop, you're joining the call, but then you can also join the call from your secondary device, from your iPad, using Osmo Projector. So in the instance of a live call, you can demonstrate ideas and processes for your students in this workspace right in front of you, whether this is a dry erase board or a piece of paper or a reading. So let's talk about the first approach. If you wanted to be able to screen record, what you can do on the iPad is get into the settings of your iPad, and we'll do that now in just a minute, and go to our control center. So in the control center, now we have the option to customize our controls, and then notice down here below, we have the option to turn on screen recording. So now that's turned on. So if we were to return, and we're only using the iPad and only using the projector app, no Google Meet, no Zoom, no live calls. We might just want to make a video of us doing some demonstration on our desk to share with our students as an instructional video. We can swipe down from the top right hand corner on the iPad and notice now we have the recording icon. If we tap on that, we'll get a three, two, one and we can record. Now I can't do the recording now because of the way I'm sharing the iPad, but that's one way that you can use Osmo Projector. Now the other thing that I can do is get into a live call like this, and I'll demo that right now. I'm gonna join this Zoom call. All right, so now we have the iPad connected in this Zoom call, and I'm showing the iPad next to me over here because I want you to be able to see the process of joining the Zoom call. So I'm in the call right now on the iPad, right? So what I'm gonna do now on the main call is give any other device the right to share screen in my Zoom call. So then on my iPad, I'm gonna to go to share screen on the top and I'm gonna say share entire screen. And on the iPad, it will say, okay, what would you like to share? I'd like to share in Zoom and I will start the broadcast. So we'll get a three, two, one momentarily and then I can join that broadcast. What I'm gonna do now, now that you see that process, I'm gonna pull my iPad off from this projection so I can get the iPad in and get it up and running the right way. All right, so the iPad is gonna start its broadcast. So now I'm screen sharing the iPad, but I don't wanna screen share the Zoom call. I'm gonna close that out and then open up instead Osmo Projector. So now in the Zoom call, and that'll pop open in just a second, in the Zoom call, you can see me, I'm kind of, the, the view I'm doing right now is to have the speaker view next to it. I can go standard view so I'm on the top. I can go side by side and gallery view if I want. So we have me over here on the right on my main device and then my iPad is right next to me, but anything I do with my iPad is being captured by the Osmo projector. So it's kind of acting like a document camera. Now, if students were joining this call, I could use this for live instruction or if it was just me and the device, what I could absolutely do is hit record and record this and then I'd be able to use my iPad using Osmo Projector 
as a second device in the call that can capture any sort of interaction that I have with offline materials on my desk right next to me. So that's it, Osmo Projector. So if you happen to have um, an iPad as part of your tool set of resources and you have Osmo and you may have been using it for the various games and activities they have, download the free projector app. I'll put that in the uh, description and then see if you can explore the use of the iPad as an instructional tool for pre-created video or even to jump into a live Zoom or Google Meet call. So thanks everyone for checking out the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications around upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.